Earthlings may have actually had a chance at discovering life on that planet since it was so close to their solar system. Oh well, too late now. <laughs> Those primitive bacteria's lives lost matter not to me. Their world was merely in my way. Of course, Master. At least Pluto will pose no such concern for you. That planet has long since been destroyed. Pluto was never really a planet. Some consider it was. What I do not! Then it is not, Master. You are well practiced as a toady, Siphon. Vilgax thought so. Then why would you leave his side? I choose to serve only the most powerful. For a while, that was Vilgax. I considered Agrigor, but he preferred to work alone. And look where it got him. Now it is you, Master. Are you saying that you cannot be trusted to remain loyal? I should kill you now and be rid of you! A thousand pardons if I offend you, Master. Your wish is of course my command. I live to serve. You only live if I say you live. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh. You need me. The robot extermination devices I left dormant on Earth during my time with Vilgax answer only to my commands. If you want them to find what you are looking for, you must allow me to live. Ah, I see how you have managed to survive your other masters for so long. Impressive. Now activate the Reds! Uh, guys? Unauthorized alien activity on a large scale is suddenly being detected at Devil's Tower in Wyoming. Is that the place I think it is? You cannot deviate from your purpose, Ben Tennyson. What is happening in this why yumming will be of no consequence if the Earth is lost. People have been thinking they've had close encounters with UFOs there for years. Maybe because a piece of the POTUS Altiari has been there all this time affecting the area. Hmm. Possible. It does indeed warrant investigation. Go now, Ben Tennyson. I must attend to other matters. The safety of the Earth depends upon you. When doesn't it? Remember, if you ever need me, just click your heels together three times. Really? No, of course not! Ah, humans. <laughs> 